Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Racestar Air 7 Lite, probably the cheapest F7 flight controller that you can currently get. In this quick video I'm going to go over its features and specs, show you how to set it up, and in addition announce the two winners of the recent Banggood Black Friday giveaway who are going to win this flight controller. First of all, as you can see, the packaging of the Air 7 Lite is very minimalistic, and inside this small bag, along with the flight controller, you can find four M3 rubber grommets and just the connectors for connecting the flight controller to a 4-in-1 ESC and to the DJI Air unit. In terms of specs, the Air 7 Lite flight controller features an F7 processor, an MPU 6000 gyro chip, a physical boot button, a USB Type-C connector, 3 amperes 5V and 9V BECs, 6 full UART ports, a dedicated joystick connector for the DJI Air unit, which is going to be powered using the 9V BEC, open-ended M3 mounting holes for easily inserting the rubber grommets, a dedicated spot for a Crossfire Nano receiver, which you'll be able to easily mount either on the bottom or on the top side of the flight controller using pin headers, and it comes with a price tag of less than $20. In addition to the joystick connectors of the 4-in-1 ESC and DJI Air unit, you can find your matching pads, which can be accessed from both sides of the flight controller. It doesn't feature an onboard OSD chip, so it's mainly intended for digital builds. In addition, the flight controller weighs 6.8 grams, and its outer dimensions are 36.4 by 36.4 by 5.2 millimeters. As for setting it up, in case you are going to use the DJI Air unit, the preferred way is to use this joystick connector, and then the DJI Air unit is going to be powered using 9 volts, and it is going to be connected to your 6, so in order to enable the communication between the Air unit and the flight controller, you need to enable the MSP slash configuration switch on your 6. In case you are going to use the DJI radio controller, the air unit is going to be connected to RX2, so you need to configure it accordingly, and in case you are going to use an external radio receiver and you are going to use UR2, make sure to remove the yellow wire which connects the air unit to the flight controller. In addition, you should note that all the 5V and 9V pads are going to work only when the flight controller is going to be powered using a battery, so in case you would like to power your external receiver or GPS, when the USB port is connected, you should use this 4.5V, which is of course also going to work when the flight controller is going to be powered solely using a battery. So overall, based on its specs and price, as far as I can tell, the Air 7 Lite can be a good candidate for a budget-friendly digital build, but pay attention again that it doesn't feature an onboard OSD, which means that if you are going to get it for an analog build, you are not going to be able to overlay the OSD on your FPV feed, and in case you are looking for a budget-friendly alternative for an analog build, you should check out the Foxeer F722 V2 flight controller, which is also a budget-friendly option and similarly priced. Now let's select the two giveaway winners who are going to win this flight controller, which is going to be directly sent to them by Banggood. In order to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is to make sure that you are publicly subscribed to my channel, and leave a single comment on the giveaway video with a link to one of the products that I included in the coupon list. In addition, all the Patreons from tier supporter and above are going to be automatically included in the giveaway. Now without further ado, let's select the two winners. The total number of entries is 102 plus the 21 extra entries from Patreon, and the first winner who won the Air 7 flight controller is Jeremy Eskelson, and I'm just going to make sure that he is publicly subscribed to my channel. And in the meantime, you can see that he picked the Skyzone Sky Zero 4X, which I actually was supposed to review, but eventually I'm not going to review it as another model is going to come out soon. Now let's check that Jeremy is publicly subscribed to my channel. So let's head over here. And as you can see, Jeremy is publicly subscribed to my channel. Now let's pick the second winner. And the second winner is Flydelo1, who selected the Radiomaster TX16S radio controller. Now let's check that Flydelo1 is publicly subscribed to my channel, but unfortunately he's not, so I'm going to randomly select another winner. And the winner is LuxNatter7 who selected the ISDT Q6 Nano Charger. And again, let's make sure that they are publicly subscribed to my channel. 
and the subscriptions are opened. And as you can see, they are publicly subscribed to my channel. So Lexinator7 is the second winner. In case you're one of these two winners, and only if you are a winner, because I'm going to confirm their identity, send me an email, and I'm going to take care of the rest. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick review of the Racer Star Air 7 Lite flight controller. In case you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.